hello to all of my beautiful one, two, threes. Thank you so much for being here at your spiritual liaison one, two, three. We're going to get into a general reading for the collective sign of Pisces just to see what comes out. Okay. So I've already shuffled the cards, but I will shuffle them on camera just so you all can see. So the first card that's out is resilience. So Pisces, you may be being very strong at this time or it, it, I kind of feel like this is something that has to do with you closing a chapter too. Like you've had to fight a lot of different battles. You've had to deal with a lot of different obstacles, but you chose to never give up, right? So with this energy here, I really feel like you're ready to move on from things being so hard all the time. Yes, Pisces. So you have some sort of new information now that you're able to work with. And you're trying to think of things in different, like healthy ways that you can move on from a situation. Again, I see you ready to close a chapter. Now, Pisces, just like a scholar, I feel like you, with this next chapter in your life, I feel like you those, play, those pages are blank right now. And you can kind of fill them in with whatever you want it to be, whatever you want that next chapter of your life to look like, right? Anything that's going to be easier than that, where you don't feel like you have to be so resilient all the time. So I feel like you're getting some sort of knowledge from an expert, or this could just be downloads from the divine, some sort of knowledge where... It's going to kind of give you the keys to what you want. Almost like if you didn't know how to do something before because you were always used to doing it one way, it's almost as if you're going to be enlightened on how to do something in a totally different way in the next chapter of your life. This is some sort of change. And this is going to put you in a place of being calmer, happier, more content with where you are in life, a more comfortable position. A more confident position too, you know, um, where you can nurture your dreams, where you can sort of help, like you can see things grow and you won't feel so held back all the time, you know, in situations in your life, you won't feel like everything is such a, a big challenge. Now, what I do feel like Pisces is these areas of your life where you're rewriting the chapter of how you want your chapter to be, your next chapter to be, I do feel like you should leave some spaces blank just for those surprise moments. Surprise moments like unexpected pregnancies or the twists and turns of life, right? You're wiser now. You've had some sort of epiphany moment. Um, again, leaving some sort of space kind of blank just so you can say, okay, you know what? I'm going to leave this space open just for change. Uh, keep an eraser near or an eraser so, or a highlighter, marker, whatever. So while you're writing this next chapter of your life, it's like, when things change or you change your mind or you have a different point of view because you've experienced something and it's like, oh, I didn't know I could do that or I could do this in a different way. I was planning on doing it this way, but now I changed my mind and I want to do it that way. Something like that. I feel like that's going to be really helpful for you um, in some area. Then you have the King of Wands here, Pisces. So even though you had to be resilient through a lot of different things, 
you've earned some place in this life where you can kind of sit, sit on your throne. You know, you've had to earn respect. Respect wasn't given to you. I feel like you had to fight longer than most. You fought the battles people don't even know about, um, whether it was internal, whether it was external, but these were battles. Sometimes you felt like you had to fight all alone. This could have been something that was pertaining to a marriage, relationships, could have been family relationships, relationships in your community, relationships on your job, wherever it was. But I feel like there were times where it almost seemed overwhelming, you know, but you still pulled through. And yes, you may have some scars from your past, but you have the right, you've earned some sort of, you know, right to sit on the throne, feel good about yourself, have your confidence high and stand on your own. You feel good about this. Um, I even feel like some of these battles that you've won has even boosted your ego in certain ways. It's made you feel good about yourself. You know, it built, it boosted your confidence. Then you have the Knight of Cups here, Pisces. So the Knight of Cups can speak of proposals. It can speak of, you know, um, following your heart, being some sort of attraction. It could also speak of opportunities or offers, invitations, you know. So Pisces, I do feel like this is life inviting you to a better, like a funner side of life, a side where you feel like you have more control of the situation, right? Whereas in the past, you were in some nine of wands energy where you were reacting, but it's like you moved into this leadership role where you're able to take action and kind of control the outcome of certain things. So this is life's way of inviting you to see the better side of things, the clear side of life, the easier side of life. Everything doesn't have to be an uphill battle. And I feel like this is what being resilient has taught you. Winning certain battles in life has taught you whether they were health battles, financial battles, emotional battles, possibly even some physical battles, whatever it was. But again, some sort of chapter in your life where you're writing everything of what you want to do, how you want your life to be, the goals you're setting for yourself, your expectations, um, but again, leave some, some space there. Leave some blank spaces there for those unexpected moments. Where those moments or those moments where you just need to take a breather, rest, and do absolutely nothing but think about your next move or enjoy the moment, you know? So there is, this is life inviting you to like knowledge, something about knowledge, tradition, you know, values some sort of commitment. Um, for some of you all, you're going to wind up getting married and you're not even in a relationship right now. So you may be like, marriage? I'm not even thinking about marriage. Like married to who? I haven't even met anyone. Those are, remember I just said, leave some spaces blank. Yeah, for situations like that. Mm-hmm. Some of you all are going to meet a really nice person, somebody who sort of matches your energy. And it's going to kind of be unexpected. That's where those filling in the blank areas of your life come in. Yeah. So let's see what else is coming out for you, Pisces. It's just I do see for the rest of 2023, moving even throughout 2024, Pisces, I see that you're going to be in some sort of area of your life where when you do look back at the past, you're actually going to smile. There may be times when you feel a little sad because maybe you lost something or lost someone or, you know, maybe certain situations didn't turn out the way you planned, right? But you're also going to see the silver lining in something like having gratitude, like, oh my goodness, you know, I did go through that, but I survived it, you know, and I've overcome it. And um, if I overcame that, I can overcome anything. 
And so this is what I see with you, Pisces. So I do see you moving in a better energy in 2023, moving into 2024, taking things a little more serious and realizing your power that you don't have to be in that energy where you're like, oh, um, I don't have control over these situations. You're going to feel like you have more control over something. And then you have this, this uh, high priestess card here, Pisces. So again, there's going to, for some of you all, not only are you getting married, but you're going to have a baby too. Some of you all are going to expand your family, you know? And, but I kind of feel like this pregnancy may be a surprise. Maybe you're focused on your career. Maybe you're just focused on, you know, you meet someone and you all are just focusing on enjoying each other. Um, you know, getting to know each other, getting engaged, possibly married. And then, you know, maybe you say, okay, well, we're going to have a baby in two years after being married. And then you wind up find, have, getting pregnant within the first year or something like that. I feel like something is going to be unexpected. If it's not a pregnancy, because this Empress card can also speak of just birthing an idea, growing it, nurturing it, pouring into it. So for some of you all, this is going to be you taking a hobby and turning it into a lucrative business. I see that for 2023 and to 2024, some of you all are going to take a hobby, something that you just find fun. You may find it. Um, it may be uh, <clears throat> something that you find therapeutic. But you're going to find that, wow, I love doing this. I can do this and, and I don't have to get paid for it. I just like doing it. You know, it's something like that. But then I see you finding a way to actually turn it into a business. And so, and it's, I don't, but I don't feel like your goal is money. Your goal is just, you just enjoy doing it and you want to share something with the world. So this is, but you may keep it a secret until you're ready to reveal whatever that is to everyone, right? So I kind of see this is where this empress, you birthing something new. This could be an idea, a business, a turn, again, turning a hobby into some sort of lucrative, uh, amazing career, something that you want to do. But again, leave those little blank spaces for those unexpected moments. The unexpected moments are not going to always be bad. Sometimes they're going to be really good. You know, like you may get an uptick in sales out of the blue and you're like, well, I wasn't expecting that. Those are some of the things that, you know, or you may get, um, like I said, good news for some of you all that are getting married, you're having a baby, you may get a good new good news with that. Some of you all, that good news may be um, you come into some sort of windfall, but whatever the unexpected good news news is you're going to navigate through life and sort of change plans because of that. That's why I'm saying like, even though you're writing, you're taking control of the pen and writing out the chapter of your life, it's like you're still able to leave some spaces open for the unexpected and all of that unexpected isn't always negative. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Cause some of you all have a lot of prosperity, good and prosperity isn't only financial, but prosperity is also energetic. You know, that energy like positive energy. And then you have the lover's card here. Yeah. So this is like making some sort of major choice in your life. Um, I even see you all loving yourself more. So I feel like some of you all may start putting some sort of regimen in, in place where you may decide, okay, every six weeks, I'm going to treat myself to the spa or um, every like... Um, Every six weeks, I'm going to do something just like really nice for myself, you know, or every six days I'm going to fast for that one day because fasting is a is a way to love yourself, too. Now, if no this, uh, disclaimer. Now, if you know that you have health issues, underlining health issues, you're on some sort of medication, always check with your physician before you fast, things like that. But for some of you all, you'll be fasting like every six days because you'll feel like, okay, that's my way of sort of, you know, meditating and uh, releasing toxins out of my body, out of my system and kind of resetting my system for the next week. Something you're going to start putting, I feel like you're going to 
like build some healthy habits this year that's going to flow right into next year and flow right into the rest of your life. Something that you, I feel like you're going to change. And a lot of this has to do with not only some external forces loving you, but you loving yourself a lot better. Um <clears throat> So it's 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 if with this lover's card here, you're going to be tempted sometimes to, you know, kind of get off track. But I feel like because you're going to because you're moving in a, a wiser type energy, you're going to pull yourself back in. If you do have a cheat day, maybe every six days is your cheat day or something of the week. If you do have a cheat day, I even feel like you're still going to even be good with that cheat day. It's kind of like, okay, whatever your cheat day may be, you know, maybe you decide you don't want to exercise that day. Maybe you decide you want to eat something that you normally wouldn't eat that day or whatever. I don't, whatever it is, I, but it's something that you're going to do. You're going to put into place, but it's about you loving yourself. It's about you taking care of yourself, catering to yourself and improving some areas of your life. This is going to, I feel like this is going to turn into just the natural part of life. It's not going to be a regimen anymore. It's going to be just who you are. It's, it's like when you get up in the morning and brush your teeth and wash your face, there is something else that you're going to do, you know, something like that. It's going to be a part of your everyday life anyway, your way of thinking. This may even be meditation. Some of you all may be finding healthy forms of meditation. That may be a way that you start loving yourself. Taking that moment before the rest of your house wake up to kind of just have time to yourself and meditate and get yourself ready for the day. Then you have temptation. I mean, I'm sorry, you have the temperance card and it's in reverse. So Pisces, this is what was happening in your past. There was some sort of imbalance, um, some sort of self-indulgence. So maybe you lacked control in certain areas of your life. And that's what play also played a role in you constantly being in that resilient energy, always feeling like you had to correct your mistakes, right your wrongs, you know, lacking self-control. Maybe this with, maybe it was with eating or spending money or, you know, um, um, allowing yourself to be in situations longer than you should, whatever it was, because it'll be different for, you know, different Pisces. But whatever it was, you lacked perception at that time. And it did make your life harder. But that's like the reality. That's you being real with yourself, you know, putting yourself in situations where you're being taken for granted. And instead of you getting out of there, just kind of sitting there hoping things will change. Those are the kind of things that I see that you may have been doing, but it's like this year you're taking more control of what you want done and you're, the way you want to be treated, um, how you treat yourself, everything. Um, having patience with yourself. Because I feel like for some of you all, that was a part of the problem. It's like you wanted instant gratification at certain times in your life. So this could have even led to some sort of like reckless behavior at times, which made your life harder, what made, what made you feel like you had to be more resilient. But I do see that control, that discipline is coming into play. I don't see you completely changing your entire life around. There are parts of you that still like to have fun and, you know, let your hair down and just be true to who you are. But you're doing it in a way where it isn't causing so many problems for you. That's what I see. Oh, nice. You have the King of Pentacles here clarifying this hair, this higher font card as well as the Knight of Cups. So Pisces, you're creating stability. This discipline and not discipline to the point where 
you're not having any fun. But discipline in certain areas, this may be even in finances. Maybe that was the issue in your past. Maybe you were sort of a little too laxed with your finances. Maybe you were spending money on things that you really didn't need. You know, you may could have had poor spending habits. Um, again, wanting that instant gratification. So I feel like you're getting things under control this year. You know, you're looking at every single detail of your life on the health side of it, financial side, your mental health, um, your physical health, everything, your relationships with yourself, as well as your family, your community, on your job. I see you kind of dissecting every little area that you feel like need work. And it's like you're starting from the bottom, kind of building that up, you know, making sure you build that strong foundation first. So anything that you build upon that foundation will last. It'll stand the test of time, right? So this is what I see with your next chapter, Pisces. This is super cool. I love this. Um, yeah, so it's like, because this with this King of Pentacles here, this is a mature, grounded energy there. You know, someone who's successful and wealthy. That's why, and I always remember I said I see some of you all turning a hobby into some sort of lucrative career. Yeah, this is a healthy, a wealthy business person. So, um, I, f I feel like instead of you taking risk with things that's like maybe just random things like gambling where it's no guarantee. You'll be taking better risks where you invest into something where you see your money grow over a long period of time. Something like that. Possibly um, maybe you're learning everything you need to know about real estate. Real estate can be risky too. That can be a gamble too, depending on, you know, but um, some of you all are going to learn something about long something that can provide you it's a long-term investment and it creates stability and security for you and your family and this is what i see you investing in this is where life has been trying to lead you and this is where your energy is being focused this, this is what i see you focusing your energy on so let me see what else Okay, yep, action. You're taking action right now. You know, you're once you put a plan in place, I feel like remember I said once you like close that that past chapter and you're ready to start writing this new chapter of your life, it's like you may write a good 20, 40, 50, 100 pages before you stop. I feel like something, once you put a plan into place, you're going to go after it really quickly. You're going to put a lot of passion behind it to bring about some sort of change. And, um, cause this is going to be exciting to you. It's going to, it's almost like it's new, but it's not new. It's just new energy focused on something that is more secure opposed of a lot of energy focused on the what ifs, the, you know, I hope this going to happen. I hope, you know, it's like you're focused now more on what you know is going to happen. That's good for you. You don't know if everything is going to turn out well, but you do have a good idea and more wisdom of some things that you can invest in that will turn out well. And this is what I see you putting most of your energy into, right? Some of you all, yeah, your relationships are going to move kind of fast too once you all, you know, really get to know each other and things like that and you make you have that security. I feel like some of you all, your relationships are going to move kind of fast. Then you have love. Look, I, I, I see it. Yeah. Um, you not only loving yourself is going to increase dramatically. I feel like you're going to love yourself more than you've ever done before and I feel like this is going to play a huge role in you not having to feel like you have to be so resilient. So if you were making bad relationship choices, right, maybe times you got into a relationship because you were lonely, you know, with someone who just wasn't you, you, the red flags were there in the beginning. Um, or maybe you got into a situation with, um, a job that you really didn't care for, but you did it just for the money, even if you were unhappy. I just kind of feel like you're going to be more true to yourself. You're going to be true to who you are. 
instead of chasing money that is connected to draining your energy and you always feeling like you have you have to be in battle or being in a relationship that's draining your energy where you feel like it's a constant issue and there's no real discipline or something, you know, whether it's from you or your or your significant other. But whatever it is, I just see significant change this year. I see you really looking at every area of your life and taking things serious, not just saying it, but actually writing it down, actually putting action behind it, showing yourself love and not being in connections, no longer tolerating connections where you're not being show love. Uh, it, that love is not reciprocated. I see you really letting things go. I see partnerships taking place, unity, compatibility, um, Harmony, balance, yeah, mutual respect. These are the kind of relationships that you're moving into in 2023 and 2024. No longer are you in these childish relationships where everything has to, if you say A, somebody has to say Z. They just, you know, want to be difficult for the sake of being difficult and you deal with them because you feel like you have to because you have some sort of obligation or you didn't have, um, a good lack of, you you lacked some sort of perspective or something, you know? So I feel like, you know, you're taking accountability for some of the things that were happening in your life and realizing how much control you have over situations. This is, again, it's not only you showing yourself a lot of love, but I see this attracting healthier relationships this year and moving forward. Now, this page of swords here is uh, curiosity. So you're going to learn something on a deeper level because you have, this is the sun card. I mean, this is um, Gemini. Um, yeah, this is Gemini. And this is the sun energy here. And this is the root chakra. So you're definitely going to learn something on a deeper level. Pages are youthful energy. They're... Um, their like service energy, you know? And so there may be an area of your life where you may be needing to be patient so you can get some, you know, you may want to be patient with some of the, remember I said, leave some spaces blank because there's, there's something that you're going to have to be patient with. There's times in your life where things are going to move very fast and you're going to be very excited about it and happy that things are starting to progress. Then there are going to be times where you're going to have to be patient, you know, and things may be delayed at times, you know, things, you know, you, you want something said, it said it, it would arrive on a Tuesday, but it's not arriving until Saturday or Sunday or something. So sometimes it's information that you want to come back, but unfortunately, you know, the turnaround time isn't what they said it was going to be. So there are going to be times where you need to be patient. And that's where that blank energy comes in, where I said, leave those spaces blank for the unexpected, you know, leave that open for the unexpected. Um, I do feel like you're going to still be very protective of your ideas, your energy, uh, these new relationships that you're building in life, the new relationship that you're building with yourself too. I feel like you're going to be very protective of that. You know what it feels like to be in a situation where you lack control or feel like you don't have control, right? So having control, discipline, I feel like that makes you happy when you know you have that security, when you know you have that safety net. You've built that safety net for yourself. Um, you have those moments where you're not deviating from uh, those self-love days, you know, those treating yourself very well, uh, days and, you know, pampering yourself days, things like that. So you're going to learn some valuable lessons that's at your root. That's going to help heal your root chakra and also heal your mind too. This is, I also feel like this is going to be an ego booster. Some of you all are going to be going back to school, taking up a trade, taking up some sort of course. Um, some of this, I feel like something is going to be, some of you all may be taking up some sort of mathematical course, something that requires mathematics 
or science or something like that, okay? All right, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon card here. And so I do see this is, you know, you have this third eye energy here. You trusting your intuition, you seeing beyond, you know, what you're being told, um, beyond the illusions, right? And I do feel like those times where you don't feel it, when you leave those blank spaces um, of, of that chapter open, you may get a little bit anxiety. You may get a little fearful, like, oh my goodness, what is, what's going to fill this space, you know? But trust the process. Trust that if you're trying to do the right thing, that even if you have to go, you have to deal with some bad situations from time to time, that you're prepared because 90% of the time, Things are going well. Things are going good. You know, nothing can be perfect, but you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. So if you mess up a little bit, make a mistake, it won't be so detrimental to all of your work because most of your work has been pretty good and it's been consistent, you know, like that. That's what I see. All right, so Pisces, I'm going to clarify these cards just a little bit more. Again, the temperance is in reverse and it keeps coming up over here. So I do feel like it's going to be a challenge. This isn't going to be a change that happens overnight. There are going to be times you're going to be tempted to go back to some sort of negative Whatever that is, whether it's a way of thinking, whether whether it's a bad habit, whether it's a guilty pleasure, someone who or someone who you should not be around, maybe standing up for yourself has been difficult or maybe you've been too, too aggressive and now you need to kind of pull back, you know, so something is going to still feel new to you until you get used to doing it. Um, but eventually that change that you seek is going to come. It's the effort that you're putting behind it. You know, that desire, that energy to want things to get better and putting the effort and um, knowledge and energy behind it that's going to make it happen. So seven of pentacles here. This is you investing into something and having to be patient to see it change. But the outcome will be good for you, you know. You taking a chance on something in your life, something that you're going to have to be patient with. It's going to be a learning process because I feel like this is something new to you. You know, this could be something in, in uh, career. It could be career based. It could be in career and your money is connected, but it also could be like entrepreneurship based. It could be self, you know, that business space. It could also be, um, but it's something that's going to require you to be patient and take your time and learn whatever it is. Hold on. You have the king of swords here. There are going to be times you're going to have to be brutally honest with yourself. It's even going to be times, Pisces, where you're going to have to cut certain like bad habits off or certain people off. Times you're going to have to say no because you're going to have to put action behind something else. Times you may not always be available to people who you're used to being so available to because you're building your business or you're focusing on your career or you have classes that you have to take. So a lot of discipline is going to come into play in some areas of your life, but I do see it paying off. I see you standing on your own and trusting the process too, making really smart decisions. Because I see distractions trying to come your way, Pisces, while you're doing this. Okay, of course, you know, when you're trying to get on the right path, stay on the right path, you do have distractions that will come in your life. But I do see you being more disciplined this time around. 
saying, nope, I'm going to stay on the right path. I know what I want. I know what I deserve. And I know the goal that I'm trying to reach. And I'm not letting anything take me off that path or anyone. So you're going to be building some really healthy relationships this year in business and your career, um, possibly even in love. If you're already in a connection, I see you all getting closer. If you're not in a connection, I see you meeting someone who you really do. You all mirror each other. You you support each other. A very good partnership, a unity, some sort of some someone who's compatible. Yeah. If you're already in a connection, I see your love life improving with the person you're with. Then you have the Six of Pentacles here. Yep, so your hard work is definitely going to pay off. That's that's the good you do coming back to you. You paying off debt due to discipline. This could be um, karmic cycles that you've paid off. So now you're seeing things open up and things get better for you. I say some, this new chapter in your life, Pisces, is going to be freaking amazing. You're going to really like this. Um, and I do see you being in the energy of, a, you know, being more disciplined with yourself, showing yourself yourself more love, um, accepting more love, being being open to receive love and have healthier relationships. I don't see these new relationships being like the ones from your past. I don't. I feel like you're going to be using discernment this year, um, clarity, uh, times that you've had to deal with that shadow side of your life. I'm going to tell you, I kind of even feel like some of the shadow sides of your life you like about yourself. Some of the things that, you know, that you hide from people with this moon card that no one knows. I feel like those are some of the things you keep just for you that you like about yourself, that you don't want to change, you know, um, and you're protective of that, you know, and then some of the shadow side of your life you've decided to work on because it has put you in these dark nights of the soul type energy where you felt like you had to keep being resilient. What's this? The lover's card keep coming out. Some of you all are meeting your, your twin flame. You're meeting your, your life partner, your twin flame. Um, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's all because you're loving yourself the right way. Or you're if you're currently in a relationship, you and that person are going to get very close. You're going to start because you're loving yourself more. They're going to be loving you more. They're loving themselves. It's just it's like a ripple effect in this new chapter of your life. Yep. So you have the pan Pisces. What do you want it to be? What, what do you want to write? You know, what do you want it to be? You have the justice card at the bottom of the deck. This is balance. This is fairness. This is um, this could be legal paperwork, things like that. Something, you know, um, something that has to do with the court system. Some of you all, you will the legal paperwork will have to be signed because you'll be purchasing real estate or legal paperwork will have to be signed because you'll be approved for a loan or a grant or something. Um, or you may have, you may something like that, that will help you grow. Legal paperwork could even be a birth certificate, social security card, whatever, if, if it's for a baby, you know, um, but something that you're going to have or a marriage certificate or something like that. But there is some sort of legal paperwork that you will be dealing with this year. Uh, that's going to have, it's going to play a role in securing things in your life, securing areas of your life and bringing that security around you and the people who you love. And um, I see a lot of prosperity. I see a lot of good things in this next chapter for you, Pisces. So look, the fear was on the bottom up here. Don't be fearful. You know, don't be fearful of change and what you feel like the good life that you want, the fear, the good life that you feel like you deserve. Um, because you're going to pick up some really good habits that has a lot to do with discipline and your health. I see your health improving. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines me. So maybe that was some of the things that you were doing in the past. Maybe you weren't eating healthy. Um, so I feel like, and it, it had, may have had something to do with you just, you know, that, that instant gratification, you know, waiting to eat. And then when you eat, you eat unhealthy. So I feel like you'll even be setting up meals 
where you like little healthy snacks you can take with you so you know you if you're out running errands you can just kind of pull a little healthy snack maybe some vegetables maybe some fruit maybe something some nuts or something like that a healthy maybe it's a um a juice drink maybe some of you all may be investing into a juicer where you'll be making your own beverages and you can take those on the go with you. But I feel like you're going to really be focusing on improving your health this year, not only physical health, but also mental health too. Because again, if you kept allowing yourself to be in certain situations, I feel like it affected your mental health. Um, you constantly having to be in that fight or flight energy, always having to be resilient. So I feel like now this year, you're like, I'm not putting myself in that situation. I'm not even allowing myself to be in areas where I feel like I have to always battle. Everything have to be so, um, you know, so out of control. I feel like you're feeling, you're getting, you're vibrating in the energy where you understand your level of control over your life, right? And this is the new chapter you're creating for yourself. So I like this Pisces. I'll shoot. I like this. I like this a lot patience have patience with yourself too have patience with yourself and have patience with the process of change change can be difficult at times especially if it's something that you're not used to but you i do see you realizing what it's going to take you know if you for instance if you want to save to um to get a car or to get a house and you're thinking, okay, how much do I need to put down? How long is it going to take me to save? That could be where that mathematics is coming in at. Um, if you want to get a house, how much can you afford per square foot? You know, things like that. So there is some something that's going to come into play um, where you're going to have to do whatever it takes to be disciplined so you can get what you want, but it is going to require you to be patient with yourself and trust the process. Okay. And so it says, I accept everything happens in divine order. Yep. So it will happen when it's it just, just you putting the energy behind it, just you making conscious choices to change and be more mentally healthy and physically healthy. This is, that's the energy you're putting out in the universe so that's the chapter you're writing for your life and yeah change <laughs> i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement absolutely absolutely so you definitely are tired of you're like you know what something has got to get better i feel like some of you all have already started putting things in place where you've already brought about some sort of change in your life you're not waiting you didn't wait until this year to do it um you've already been putting things in action and you're gradually seeing things change for the better for yourself and then some of you all you that was that's something that you're starting to do you're realizing that you have more control of your life than what you thought and if you're tired of always having to be in that fight or flight energy and be resilient and, you know, lacking self-discipline, lacking self-control when it comes to your money, your health, your mental health. I do see you taking the time to take control over that, stand in your power and make this change happen. Wow, love keeps showing up in your reading, Pisces. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So I see, I feel like you're even, remember I said that silver lining? Sometimes you're going to look back at your life and just kind of smile at what you survived. Look, smile at, you know, the lessons you've learned, even if they were hard. But you're going to, I feel like you're going to be a little more gentle with yourself. You're not, you're going to learn not to be so hard on yourself. And that self-love is going to attract external love. You know, that internal love that you're showing yourself is going to attract external love. So, yeah, so you're going to see the good even in the mistakes you've made. And, um, and you're going to feel like it transformed you into a better person. And this is, again, this new chapter of your life. So that's a beautiful thing, Pisces. So happy for you. So proud of you going to, you know, we're already in 2023. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. But whatever, uh, again, 
that pain, that suffering um, that you've had to go through in the past for whatever it was, you know, maybe you've lost relationships or some of you all, I even feel like um, some of you all are still in situations where you're desiring change. You may still be living with family where you want to, you know, you wish you didn't live with them. Or you may be uh, at a job where you feel like you wish you had a different job. But instead of wishing, put that plan in place. You know, if it takes you two years, five years, put that plan in place and do whatever it takes. If you if you don't like the job you're on and you know that you need um, further education so you can get a better job, put that plan in place so you can take courses online if you need to. If you um, if you don't like where you're living or it may, it, you don't even have to be living with family, you may be living by yourself, but you may not like your neighborhood or something like that. If you, whatever it is in your life, look at it and think about what can I do? What do, what parts of this situation do I have control over? What can I, what kind of plan can I put in place? And how long is it going to take so I know I can prepare myself mentally? So for the long haul, you know, with especially with the seven of pentacles here, that's long term having to do something and having to be patient with the outcome. So, yeah. So whatever it is, Pisces, think about it. If you're in a situation, some of you all are trying to be patient with a, a, a parent, co-parent. And, you know, you may want to <laughs> bring their neck sometimes, but. You know, you're even trying to find ways where you can meditate so you're not giving away so much of your power when you're dealing with someone who's vibrating in a low vibrational energy, you know. So um, I just feel like you're going to make those changes. You're going to do you're going to take more control of the situation, whatever in any area of your life. I feel like you're going to do it and it's going to improve your mental health as well as your physical health. But be patient with yourself. Know that change does require patience and you're going to start see things moving forward because you're putting action behind it. You're not just writing it down. You're not just thinking about it, but you're actually putting physical action behind it. And this is showing your self-love and it's also telling the universe or sending a message to the universe that you deserve love. And that's what you're going to attract. Beautiful new friendships, relationships, or healthier relationships that you already have now, they're going to increase and get better. Um, yeah, so I love this. I love this message. I love what I see. And I'm sending you all nothing but good energy. And I want you all to enjoy the rest of your day. And I will talk with you later.